the Gemini team. A first for British Robot Wars. Here we have, long awaited, I might add, a cluster bot. Talk me through it. Well, right, cluster bot, it's um, two separate parts which go into the arena as one machine. And then when we start to fight, we separate, like so, the two separate machines. When you start to fight? Yeah. So you can't actually attack as a, as a single unit? No, we can't fire the weapons when they're together. Because they go all in their Achilles heel. So the, each, each machine is equipped with a lifter which can lift 250 plus kilos um, as long as the arm survives it. Right. And they're also gyro stabilised, so they're very easy to control. Excellent. But you come in, you weigh in as a single unit, don't you? So each of these obviously is half the weight of some of the other robots, so easily flippable. But you've got the self writing mechanism. Self writing, yeah. The, uh, the lifter doubles as a self writing mechanism. So all you've got to really think about is uh, avoiding the pits, I guess. Pits, yeah. Ha! <laughs> pits. We shall see. Time to engineer some chaos. Let the wars begin! From St. Leonard's on Sea, seed number 8, Gemini. A unique and brilliant innovation, the cluster bot, which will split into two machines on entering the melee, fiberglass and Kevlar shells, pneumatic flippers, but Gemini, killer lots and Leo, and lions rule our jungle. What lessons have been learned from their previous incarnation as Mace, Stinger, Stung, then they slam suicidal tendencies and they come back with similar power this time around. But in the semi-finals against Chaos 2, they were flipped. They couldn't write themselves. I wonder if they've improved on that this time around. Well, we're Team Mace, this is our robot Gemini. Um, it's a heavyweight cluster bot, which means it goes into the arena as one machine, then we split into two and fight as a team. Uh, Leech machine is equipped with a high pressure a lifter which can handle about 250 kilos and also both machines are capable of self lighting Roboteers, stand by. Caterpillar with a lifting arm, Keith Williams, sister Julianne and girlfriend Georgie Reed. Tornado, work colleagues Andrew Marchant, David Gamble and Brian Moss. And there's Gemini, Shane Howard, Brian Fountain and young Daryl Howard. Three, two, one. Watch for the split. There straight away the twins break up. Sisters of Mercy or Daughters of Doom, Gemini. Spinning around the arena floor immediately. Difficult to keep track on them for the rest of the competing robots and the house robots. How do you close on one robot when suddenly it becomes two? Tornado on the attack, meanwhile, on Caterpillar. Caterpillar really in the midst of everything at the moment. Traditional wedge shake. In goes Tornado. Lower, flatter. Very little ground clearance on Tornado as it comes slamming in on the attack at 10 miles an hour. Can it get a flipped up and over? Has the lifting arm. Can it self-right? I don't think so. Tornado with a little bit of a shove. Electrically operated that flipping lifting arm of Caterpillar from Adelson in Surrey, but at the moment they've been shoved across the arena floor by Tornado. The boys from Huntingdon doing their stuff here on Caterpillar. The tail hangs limp at the back of the Caterpillar. Oh, in towards Shunt there, into the CPZ, the corner patrol zone, and down comes Shunt. Great axe blade right into the mechanical guts of Caterpillar, which really doesn't make pleasant thinking. Out comes Shunt now. There's Part of the twins there, Gemini, they'll lunge! And a great attack as well from the pneumatically powered flipper. Can flip up to 250 kilograms and surely here Caterpillar's done for. Meanwhile on the attack on Tornado there, the twins, Gemini, A and B together. Now Killalot has pinched Caterpillar, which surely is doomed. Gemini under attack. 80 kilos of Caterpillar being dragged across the arena floor though by Killalot. Killalot, Caterpillar, Barbecue. Oh dear. Tornado, meanwhile, puts the wind up shunt. Only a little bit. Well, not a little bit. Look at that. That's great power from the Tornado team. Meanwhile, Caterpillar, they know they're out of it. Shunt onto the great arena. Pick it out of there very quickly, House Robot. We don't want to see you doomed. Caterpillar's about to be doomed. The Gemini bots are spinning madly all over the place. This is bamboozling, bewitching stuff from Gemini. Tornado comes back in as stubborn as a Capricorn as the Geminis fling themselves around the arena. Caterpillar immobilized, dead. Long, long time ago, slammed against the arena. Well, there's no light. Oh, the tails come off. Cat no tails. 
and there they are, they know they're out of it. The Caterpillar team. Meanwhile, ooh, dead metal. In goes the great circular blade of dead metal. Oh, tornadoes in the pit. They think they're still in Caterpillar. I don't think they are. I think they were immobilized a long time ago. I think it's Caterpillar that have gone here despite their celebrations. We'll wait and see, of course, but I think they've already gone. I think Tornado were okay. Am I right? Gemini, magnificent, like, superb. Whoa, what a fantastic fight. But Caterpillar goes home with his tail between his legs.